Morning. Here's an update video on the Mavic Mini, which arrived in this box. There are some prop guards in there as well, and it comes with this case if you buy the combo. Let's open up the case. Have a look. There's battery charger, the controller, and the Mavic Mini, which you can see is very small. It's under 250 grams. To fold the drone out, you pull the, this one out first and then the rear legs second on this front and then pull it out there. And then there's a gimbal and camera clamp, which you can need to take off as well. And that's the Mavic Mini. We've also included a couple of ND filters on this, which we're using because they make a big difference. But I'll come on and talk about those later. So that's the package. The controller itself, um, you really need to take these off when you store it to shut the case. But the handles come out and you just screw them in into here. I'll just show you a little bit closer so you can see. There's the handle coming out there. Just pull it out and then screw it in there. And the connection to the um, phone is based on the side and you get three of these depending on which phone you're using, Android or iOS. I'm using the iOS phone and therefore it has a lightning connector at the end and the, the phone slips into here. You really need to take your case off though for in order for it to sit in uh, comfortably in this area here. Or the other alternative is to use a... Um, a mini uh, type of tablet, which is what I prefer. And we've got a, on here, you can just about see a, um, a blanking panel that goes into this area here and allows us to use this um, Apple Mini with the controller. And the connector is a, an extension connector that literally plugs straight into the iOS device there. So, and that's how we use the um, there we go, we use the controller. So I would then pull this up, put the base in here. And then that's ready to go. We're now going to look at the DJI Fly app. We've got the Apple Mini on top of the controller here, as you can see and the controller is connected to the drone and it's indoors. So let's press the DJI Fly app. You'll see the picture from the, the drone now. We are indoors, so we're getting the takeoff with uh, caution, no GPS, because it's we are just in the office. So this is the view from the on the screen. And if I click on the top left up here, it takes us back to the basic screen for the DJI go fly out the start screen and you can look at the profile sky pixels and the album so if i press the go fly button here then comes up with the view through the camera top left if we want to go back we press that button to go back and then we hit the road fly button again to come back through if you can see on the left now top left it's in s mode which is sports mode so I'm going to press that, let go. The next mode is C mode, which is cine mode, which is a slow, very slow mode. It slows the whole drone down and also the stick movements are all slowed down. So that's good for filming, smooth filming. And then the next one is the position mode, which is what you normally fly in, which is P mode. Now we've got unable to take off no GPS because we are indoors, as I said earlier. So normally when you see the screen there, you will have a GPS button, a green, and you can be able to fly. And then you can see this example now. Then on the top right, there's got, we've got a green circle with 71% on that's 71% left of battery. We've got a reasonable amount of um, power left in the remote controller and we're not showing hardly any satellites now um, the top right again there are three small dots and if you click on those they bring up the main sub menus now safety there is showing 
that we are maximum altitude is 120 meters. That's as high as we can fly, and that's what we're setting it to. That's the maximum you can fly in the UK, 400 feet. I've set the maximum distance to 200 meters. The maximum you can fly a drone away from you in the UK is now 500 meters, but you would never see this Mavic Mini at 500 meters. It's just too small. And then the auto return to home altitude, which is set at 30 meters, you look around at what the the area around you is and how high the trees are and buildings and you would set that to a sensible height because if you hit the return to home button on the controller the drone will fly up to 30 meters or whatever you have set that to and then it will come home at 30 meters and then land. The next sub menu is control so those are the flight modes which we discussed earlier Cine, C mode, P position, best for sport you can change the units to metric or imperial. And the gimbal mode, there are two alternatives. The follow me mode is the normal. The follow mode is the normal one you would leave it in. The FPV mode moves with the drone. So if the drone pitches or rolls, the actual camera will pitch and roll at the same time. The next one down the arrow, if I press on advanced gimbal settings, that comes up with the pitch speed of the gimbal up or down i've got it set at 30 which is pretty smooth and the smoothest is set for five so those are probably the best um, default uh, settings and you can allow the gimbal to go above the horizon line by clicking on this button here i'll leave that off i don't particularly like that and then we'll go back by pressing that button and let's look at the gimbal calibration you can calibrate that at the bottom i won't do that now but so then we've got the camera sub menu there's a size of 4.3 or 16.9 let's have a look at the 4.3 which is on now and then if i click on this the three bots again and go 16 by 9 you can see it's changed the shape of the picture that we're going to take okay so let's go back to 4.4 by 3 which is what i prefer there's the capacity of the sd card it's a 32 gigabyte sd card so it's showing a maximum of 29.7 we got 24.8 left so if we press the advanced shooting settings there that comes up with a histogram which we can put on the screen we can put an overexposure warning if you want you can adjust the grid lines we've just got the middle grid line running at the moment if i press the next one to the left you'll see that it's got the cross hairs as well so we'll take that off white balance i've got it set to 5800 manually you can also also have it auto but if you have it on auto it can hunt around and affect your video if you're flying you'll see the video go dark and light unless you fix the white balance anti-flicker we've got set to auto took off video subtitles and cache when recording i've got that set to two gigabytes the next one is transmission i would leave that on auto uh, that's the best place to put it and then about this gives you all the details of the Mavic Mini you can name it I've named mine DPS DJI Mavic Mini you can see whether the firmware is updated um, so those are the five settings for the top and if you want to get out of it you just click on the screen and it'll take it back if you enjoyed this video then subscribe to the channel or watch the next video in the playlist or the new videos that we've just recently downloaded. Bye for now.